Welcome in. Thank you for dropping by. Today's work is important work. It's good work. Work that could change your life. A metaphor can change your life. Today's metaphor is derived from Romeo and Juliet. When we think of Romeo and Juliet, we think of a play, we think of two houses, we think of characters in love dying in front of us. It's brutal. It's beautiful. It's powerful. However, we can take from that play something that might even be more useful, something that we can uh, integrate into the fabric of our lives. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do that right now. In this moment, I am trying to live my Juliet and my Romeo at the same time. Actually capturing yourself on video is very difficult and is very hard to do. Acting natural, being yourself in the moment, it requires a lot of discipline. That's one of the subjects we're going to talk about today. Discipline. Romeo is a metaphor for discipline. Romeo, he's not that magical. He's not that special. He's good with words, but he's kind of a typical dumbass in a lot of different ways. He wants what he wants, and he wants it so badly. But what does he do? What can he make? Can he make something out of nothing? No, I don't think so. And Juliet, on the other hand, is different. Juliet is magical. She's mysterious. She's uh, tapped in to something that's like cosmic, you know, like the fires that lit the stars, that lit a billion stars. When their romance takes off, it's not really Romeo that's driving. It's <laughs> Juliet. Romeo's the car. If you read the play, you read the play carefully, or you see a, a brilliant enactment, you'll be a little bit scared of who Juliet is and what she's capable of, the depths of her love. I did not invent the metaphor. I discovered it. Poets, poets are the best. I should read more poetry. You should read more poetry. Really, everyone should read more poetry because we build our worlds from language and poets love language more than anyone else. If Romeo and Juliet had made appointments to meet in the moonlight-swept orchard, in all the peril and sweetness of conspiracy, and then more often than not failed to meet, one or the other lagging or afraid or busy elsewhere, there would have been no romance, no passion, none of the drama for which we remember, and celebrate them. Who is Juliet? Juliet is mysterious. She's powerful. Mary Oliver, the poet, describes Juliet as the courageous but also shy factory of emotion. The heat of the star as opposed to the shape of the star. A mysterious unmapped zone. That's inspiration. That's creativity. What about Romeo? Who's Romeo? Romeo sets up the camera. He turns it on. He writes something down. He looks at it. He thinks about it. He makes a few changes. He rewrites it. When it's time, Romeo types it up and puts it in the envelope and sticks it in the mailbox. Juliet doesn't do these things. Juliet is dreaming of the next possibility. Romeo and Juliet, that's the metaphor. That's the work for today. A useful metaphor can change your life. It's like, can become part of the operating system by which you encounter challenges and move forward with your goals. I hope it will. I hope this one will. Smash me a like. Subscribe to the channel. I'd like to be able to supply you with more useful metaphors, at least useful metaphors.